What is a zoo without the king of the jungle, the lion? Well, that was what the Aqua Zoo lacked when I first visited in October 2018. But since then, a lot has changed. Today, a lion and a lioness bask in the sun in their small territory. The two-year-olds seem to have brought back the spark the Aqua Zoo has been missing. As I speak to you now, we now have a male and a female lion. Um, we also have deers which have been brought in to increase the numbers. Um, apart from this species I've mentioned, um, we have also received some primates, that is some monkeys, from people who have donated them to us. And others we have confiscated because they were illegally handling them without any permit. For many years, the beautiful Accra Zoo stayed hidden from animal lovers. It hardly received any visitors because of its location and almost non-existent advertisement. But after City News threw the spotlight on the treasure tucked away from the rest of Accra in the Achimota Forest, its manager, Stephen Tamanja, says the zoo's fortunes have changed. I'm very grateful for the visit you made last year. Um, there have been positive changes. Since you came, uh, patronage has increased tremendously. And uh, we are very grateful for your intervention at that time anyway. Um, a lot of schools in particular, uh, especially in great, uh, greater Accra region, or, uh, the, what do you call it, uh, AME, um, patronize the place and some sec second cycle institutions, including some tertiary institutions and individuals have started coming to, the, the, to see what we are actually doing here and what we actually have for the general public. We still appeal to people that the zoo is in existence. We are doing our best to expand it and make sure that the facilities are up to standard so that when people come here, they don't feel they've wasted their time. They should feel they've actually come to get themselves satisfied. It takes a lot of resources to run a zoo like this one. What management spends on feeding for the animals, enclosures and personnel could not be compared with the meager funds the facility made in entry fees. The accountant for the zoo, however, says this is a thing of the past as it exceeded its revenue by 100% in 2019. For 2019, we have about 20,000 visitors, most of which are school children. As compared to 2018, which was about 10,000 visitors. The same applies to revenue as well. Revenue increased by 100% in 2019. I'm very, very happy because I have over exceeded my target. Well, so it's feeding time here at the Aqua Zoo and I found myself a troop of monkeys that I'm trying to feed but actually there are a group of professionals that work here at the zoo that do this job and many others on a daily basis and they say that it's very fulfilling especially since patronage of the Aqua Zoo shot up. Well, Ape, great. Mm, good boys. I feel excited because uh, I wanted to be a teacher. But I couldn't get the opportunity. By coming here, to I get to interact with children and other people coming around. I take them around. So I enjoy their work. The patronage for now is okay. We have been having a lot of visitors around. But we are hoping that as years go on, we will see more visitors more than that. Before you can work as a zoo, you have to love animals. Otherwise, you can't. If you don't love the animals, you cannot work in, within the animals. So I also started when I was small. That's why now I'm chief resource guard. That makes me happy because of the patronage of the people that visit the zoo. So if they don't come, we feel bored. It means when they come like this, and we are working with them, uh, going around with them, they are happy. It means we are also making sense. We are doing something. And the government also gets something out of it. I'm very happy that I'm working with Accra Zoo because I love animals. So this snake here is royal python. Royal python, they no bite. In case when they bite you, no poison. They use this royal python here to take the pictures. A lot of the children, they are not scared. It is wonderful animals like these that continue to thrill patrons, especially children. A few meters away from the royal python's cage, a family has just arrived. 
These three young girls could not hold back their amazement at the sight of a donkey for the first time. Sorry, come here. Stand here. Stand here. Sorry. Unicorn. Unicorn. Okay, Unicorn. Unicorn. Say hello. Are you happy to be with the donkey? Yes. Great. Thank you. Yes, it is. And my my sisters are afraid. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why are they afraid? Because they don't like the donkey. The Aquazoo does more than bringing its visitors closer to animals. It also serves as a safe space for various species endangered in their natural habitat. By accommodating the Endangered Primate Breeding Center run by the West African Primate Conservation Action, WAPCA, there is hope for the white kneed mangabe and the rollaway monkey. According to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, these two species are part of 25 most endangered primate species in the world. We have a breeding center in Accra, then we have a semi-free enclosure in Kumasi. Now, we are breeding them in Accra, then we move them to Kumasi, where we introduce them between their natural habitats and then the enclosure. So finally, we try to re-introduce them back into the world. So we don't want them to get extinct. Now, they are on the IUCN list, they are endangered. And then we have the roadway, which are critically endangered. So we are trying to protect them from extinction. I'm actually happy, I'm very, very happy that I'm actually part of this initiative. Now, trying to protect a particular species of animals from extinction, you are actually becoming part of the conservation industry, where you are trying to protect not just the animals, you are also trying to protect other animals as well. Now, because we have this ecological system where monkeys are... Other animals depend on monkeys as well to survive. And we have plants, animals, uh, monkeys are also part of the, um, um, let's say, pollination agents. Now, so when they become extinct, it means that some of the plants in the forest cannot survive. The zoo has over 150 animals of 30 species on exhibition. And for as low as two Ghana cities for Ghanaian children and 10 cities for adults, one can enjoy a full tour. But to keep this business running, the animals must be healthy at all times. Mr. Texan is the zoo's resident veterinarian who has been seen to this for the past 11 years. Presently, all of them are in good shape. Uh, what I do is every morning when I come here, I go around, I check every cage and the animals in them. I make sure they are all fine. Besides that, uh, those who work directly in the cages also tell me about uh, uh, any differences they see in the health of the animal. It can be um, some uh, infection, infectious disease that you may have to use antibiotics. Some of them are easy to, to handle, so you can get hold of them and then inject them. Some two are a bit difficult to handle, so with them, if uh, the need, there is a need, you have to use a dart gun to, to, to jump. Indeed, nature is beautiful and what better place to enjoy it right here in the capital than here at the Akwa Zoo. Reporting for City News, I am Ni Ama Ama.